Hello everyone. It is Friday, May 14th, 2021. Of course, Wednesday was New Comic Book Day, which means right now it's time for the New Comic Book video. It was another big week for books, but mostly on the independent side. And so we're going to jump right into that. And then I also have uh, some older books to show because everybody enjoys that. And then I received another book from Sigma Comics, the second issue of their book Calico, which I'm going to review on this uh, video. So let's jump right into the books, shall we? Uh, first book up from Marvel, Silk, number two. Star Wars, High Republic, number five. And that was it for Marvel, I believe. Let me just check real quick. Yeah, that was it for Marvel. Uh, next up, a book that was selling pretty good from Future State. This is Future State Gotham, number one, cover A. And cover B. Uh, a book that always sells really well. It doesn't matter. A lot of shops bought a lot of these because they know, speaking to some of the shop owners, they said, you know what, I just throw these up on the shelves and ultimately they just sell every week. They just, you know, a couple copies here, a couple copies there. This is Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries, number two of 12. And again, it's just Scooby-Doo has such a huge following. Uh, you know, younger kids today like Scooby-Doo. And then, of course, if you're my age, you remember the Scooby-Doo uh, show on Saturday mornings. So, you know what? Brings back good memories. It sells really well. Cheap book, too. Only $2.99. So why am I not going to pick that up? And then also from DC this week, uh, the bigger seller. This is Joker number three. Joker hanging out at the old pool there with his uh, palm tree floaty. Having a drink. And then the best cover, in my opinion, which was the B cover here. Just kind of like that cover when I saw it. As you know, I am a Joker fan by the symbol in the back. And then this was another cover, <clears throat> excuse me, that they did here. Got a little punchline action going up there. Sorry about the glare. And that was it for Marvel and DC. And now we're going to jump right into a very large week of independent books. Uh, first one we're going to show, Black Cotton number one. This is a second print. And again, if you haven't read this, give it a try. It's a take on, you know, kind of things that are going on in the world today, just kind of reverse. So I thought the uh, concept was pretty good. I enjoyed the first issue. Uh, you know, we'll just keep going from there. So I got a second print there. Uh, Euro Psyche. Cover B here. Well, actually, I think this was the cover A. A uh, book I'm still enjoying, Scout's Honor from Aftershock. This is issue number five. And I still say this storyline, this concept, this idea, I do believe is going to uh, ultimately be a TV show down the road. So, you know, you can still pick these up fairly cheap. <clears throat> Next up, Maniac of New York, number four. Not really, uh, you know, enjoying this all that much, but you know what? It's a horror genre. It's got a little uh, Jason knockoff, so I'll pick it up just for the collection. But again, not really enjoying the storyline all that much. Uh, independent from Image, Time Before Time, number one. There are a couple different covers on this one. I only picked up this one here. Uh, a go-to seller every time it comes out. This is Ice Cream Man, number 24, cover A. And the B cover here, kind of wicked looking. There were also a ton of variants and store exclusives of this book that came out uh, for issue number 24. A lot of them were really, really cool looking, but selling for really, really high prices. Uh, you know, $24. There's a couple that were in the uh, 75 to 80 dollar range so i just picked up the regular two right there uh, issue number two of the silver coin from image haven't had a chance to read this yet i am looking forward to it there and then a movie homage this is euro psych psyche psych however you pronounce it from a blaze comics i showed you the one cover this was the homage cover 
Of course, everybody should recognize this cover here, especially if you're my age. So I'd like to see that in the comments if you know exactly what movie this is here. Uh, a storyline that I love every week. We've talked about this. Love the character. I've liked every story they've come out with. This is Kanto and the City of Giants, number two. Just love the character. And I've been on it since day one, like a lot of you uh, have stated, that you, you bought it based off of my recommendation. Um, not that the second and third story, this is the third story in the Kanto line, uh, has done a whole lot. But that first issue, those early issues, are worth a lot, a lot of coin. So, next up, Silver City from Aftershock. Uh, Silver City, number one. A couple of covers on this one, too. I only picked up this one here. Proctor Valley Road, number three. I think I showed this one last week, but I picked up another one just because I like the cover. So there's that there. Kind of a wicked looking cover right there, if you ask me. And then Geiger, number two. Again, a uh, few covers on this. I think there was three covers on this one. Just picked up the one. That's all I needed on that there. And then, of course, the big, big book this week, in my opinion, uh, sold out really, really quick, which is from uh, Behemoth Comics. This is You Promised Me Darkness, number two. There's one cover here. And another cover there. Sold out really, really quick. And again, apparently there is a little bit of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, people aren't getting everything. A shop is ordering 10 to 15 copies and they're getting, you know, three or four copies. So I was very happy to get a couple of those. And they're doing that with a lot of the independents now where they're limiting the amount of books that are coming in. So if you want some of these books uh, on some of these different storylines, get them get signed up at your comic shop and hopefully they will get enough copies in to be able to accommodate all of their customers. As of right now, people that are waiting, uh, you know, at the last minute to try to order them, and I have been guilty of that myself. Uh, Brian at Cosmic Comics can tell you that. Uh, but they always do a good job of taking care of me over there, and I appreciate it because sometimes I'm so busy, I don't get a chance to see everything, or I skip something, or I miss something. Uh, especially when it comes to the independence. So I was very happy to get a couple copies of You Promised Me Darkness, number two. And I look forward to the additional issues that are coming up down the road. Uh, oh, also, I picked up a couple copies. This book came out a while, and I still like the storyline. And it was hard to find uh, these issues in really, really clean condition. I was able to do that. Uh, I picked up two copies of It Eats What Feeds It, number one, first print for cover price. There's one here and one there. Very happy to get that uh, for the simple fact that the copies that I got originally uh, had some spine damage on it. So I was able to see a couple of those on the shelf at cover price. So I picked them up because I do enjoy that story and I was happy to get that. Uh, next up, there was a company called Sigma Comics. They're out of Florida, I believe. <clears throat> and a while back, they sent me a copy of their new book called Calico or, you know, uh, Here Comes Calico which is kind of, I'll just show you the cover there. This is number two. It's kind of a, like I stated, a Black Panther type character, a Black Panther knockoff. And what this is, is this is a character who defends and protects animals who cannot defend themselves. This is a company that is really uh, big in supporting, uh, you know, animal shelters, animal rights groups, uh, you know, protecting abused animals and, you know, being a big animal lover myself, a big lover of animals. Um, you know, I like to see people who go out of their way to be cruel uh, to animals uh, get the just punishment that they deserve because, you know, a, a dog is a type of animal, we'll just use that as an example, that, you know, unfortunately there are people who just abuse them terribly and the dog will always come back looking for love. A uh, person who does that, I have very little use for you uh, to be in an area where I'm at. So uh, they sent this to me, issue number two. And I liked it again. It was another really good storyline. Uh, they're not real big. I think it comes with a $2.99 price point. Uh, here is the cover. The artwork is fairly decent. I like it. I like the storyline. Uh, this issue here again, this is only an eight issue set, uh, but it's a, a story that's really good. I like it. I like the character buildup. 
Um, I like the premise of the story about, you know, uh, you know, an Avenger out there uh, bringing pain to, uh, you know, people who do harm to animals. And this one, you know, it has a kind of a violent overture, uh, overture excuse me, uh, on the story. But again, it's $2.99. You have to buy it off the website. The website is sigmacomics.com. Um, but again, I think it's well worth, uh, you know, the purchase because I think the story is really good. And again, real small company like this, there's not going to be a whole lot of them out there. And I'm not saying that this book is going to explode and do a lot. But again, independent press is really, really important to keep comic books going. We can't always go with the Marvel and the DC. You know, I'm a big independent comic uh, follower. So I had the opportunity to support a company like this. I'm going to do it. So Sigma, uh, Sigma Comics. Here comes Calico number two. I hope some of you picked up number one. I'd like to see that in the comments if you did. And I am looking forward to issue number three. So Sigma Comics, thank you very much for sending me this. And I've enjoyed it tremendously. And it is a big recommendation for me to my viewers out there. I hope you all give it a opportunity to uh, find a spot in your collection. So there was that. Uh, and now we're going to show just a few older books. Uh, nothing real big. Nothing. I, I don't show huge keys. I'm not one of those, you know, look what I have and you know, look at these beautiful books. I just show basic, you know, middle of the order or, you know, middle of the road, uh, silver, golden age, bronze age books, because you know what? They need a little bit of attention to, and a lot of people don't show books like that because everybody wants to see the big keys and have them say, look what I picked up, you know, another issue of, you know, Amazing Spider-Man 300 or, you know, whatever the flavor of the month is to speculators and flippers. So, Let's jump right into some of this. Uh, first one we're going to show from 1968, Captain Marvel number two. Not a high grade book. I put a VG plus on this, but the cover shows really, really nice. The colors are really, really cool. And I just love books from this era. Uh, brings me, makes me remind me of my childhood, even though 1968 was only a year after I was born. Uh, next up, we are going to do Detective Comics 478. This is from 1978. This is the first appearance of the third Clayface. Preston Payne. This is an upper grade book, very fine plus, which probably means it's a 992. Uh, those who've bought books from me are knowing what I'm talking about. So there's that there. We talked about these books, Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen and Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane, that you can find these in pretty reasonable, you know, priced for high grade conditions. And so this is just another example of this. This isn't a super high grade. This is, I graded this uh, upper mid grade, but this is Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, number 145. Of course, you should recognize the artwork on that right away. That is from the legend, uh, Jack Kirby. There's that right there. And again, another book that just shows really, really well, really good looking cover. Really, really like that. And I'm sorry, that's from 1971. This is a cover purchase. Now, I like the storyline to Dracula. I always have, being the fan of the genre that I am. But this is a cover that I just always loved because it just kind of incorporates everything that I love about horror movies. This is, of course, Dracula swooping down on a helpless woman, the, you know, big, scary house in the background. Uh, just really, really nice looking cover right there. So, you know, I always try to pick this cover up when I see it. This isn't a real easy cover to find. So there's that there. Really good looking book. Uh, Venture Comics number, you can't see it, it's got a little slice on the uh, cover just for the cut from the publisher, not everything goes like that. This is Adventure Comics featuring Supergirl uh, right here, this is an upper grade book and this is a bondage cover, there she is right there and you can kind of see what I'm talking about as it relates to the cut right there, <clears throat> just a little, you know, uh, manufacturer's uh, defect that they do not count against the grading right there. So there is that there again, presents really well, really good color, uh, nice high grade, uh, you know, 52 page giant on that for a quarter. Next up, Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, number 119 from 1972. Now Superman says he can't reach this person before they hit the ground, but you're Superman, you can reach that person, make a move. So there's that there. You know, the 70s, they used a lot of, you know, put Lois Lane in a lot of like hot pants, 
or 70s outfits, obviously it was the 70s. They did the same thing with Wonder Woman, uh, which I was never really wild about, the kind of jumpsuits and stuff. So, But again, really cool looking book. This is a book you can seem to find fairly easy. This is The Amazing Spider-Man King Size Special number 5. Uh, Mid-grade, first appearance of Peter Parker's parents, Richard and Mary. Kind of a, I don't even call this a minor key, but just kind of a real cool book. And you can find this relatively cheap. Uh, right there and again it's kind of a cool cover you know with the old you know outer limits style uh circle there a little vortex whatever you want to call it so there's up there really nice greens on that cover there of course the master kirby this is the second appearance of lady sif from 1966 this is the mighty thor number 136 mid-grade again presents really really nice i love these books like this doesn't get any better than that right there This is a minor key. This is, well, let's save that one for last because that's probably the best book I'm going to be showing. Next up, Submariner, number 22. This is a Doctor Strange appearance. This is another up, um, you know, upper grade, 775. And I like this because they're in a cemetery. I kind of like cemetery covers. Um, you know, June Patrol had a couple of them. And then, of course, Spider-Man has a few of them. And whenever I have something that's kind of cemetery, mortuary, thing like that, I'm going to grab those for the collection. So here's that there. Again, another book that just presents really, really nice with that color. Uh, Wonder Woman number 184. This is from 1969. This is an upper grade. Coming home on her shield like a Spartan. Uh, usually the Spartans would carry home their soldiers. Uh, the famous line, come home with your shield or on it. Uh, there's that there. Always like that cover right there. And then finally, the last book we're going to show, Amazing Spider-Man number 135. This is the second appearance of The Punisher. And this is a Romita cover. So you're getting a couple of big things right there. You got The Punisher hanging out right there. So there was, that, of course, the first appearance of Punisher, 129. This is, you know, six issues after the fact. But again, a book that... You know, for a second appearance, a lot of people can't afford the first appearances, so they like to lean over towards uh, second appearances and third appearances. You can get these relatively, uh, you know, at a relatively decent price for a high-grade copy. Uh, this isn't the highest-grade copy, but again, you know what? It's a second appearance of the Punisher from 1974, and it's always nice to have one of those there. Uh, one of the good examples of uh, second and third appearances being popular is Harley Quinn's second and third appearances from Batman Adventures. Uh, people like to buy those because those are, you know, super high grade. You can get those really, really cheap. So again, that's pretty much all we have. Uh, I got a lot of good response on last week's video as it relates to CGC. And a buddy of mine who submits uh, more books than, you know, we submit... Uh, has finally made that decision that he's going to walk away from CGC and is going to go over to CBCS. Uh, that is not the first person who sends in a lot of books that are heavy CGC supporters uh, doing that. This is just the beginning of the, you know, change, changing of the guard, as you will, as it relates to the graded comic books. Because like I stated, people get tired of CGC. They get tired of the long wait times. Uh, there was a video of a guy who you know, sent in $100,000 worth of books and they lost it for a long period of time. I don't want to hear that you're losing my books uh, when I send things in to get graded. And I think it's just in the point now, like we just stated, uh, like we discussed in the last video, that people are finally starting to realize, you know what, I'm paying for a service and I am not getting equal service back. I'm not getting the customer uh, care and the care of my product that I should be getting for the prices. It's not like CGC is a cheap option. You pay a lot to get the books graded. You pay a lot to get the books shipped back to you. So they should do a much better job of taking care of those items. So there was that. CG, uh, CBCS is going to start itching over and I think ultimately is just going to give them a little jackknife slap uh, over the rails and take over as the uh, king of the comic book grading industry. And again, for those of you who think I'm jumping on the bandwagon talking bad about CGC, like I said in the last video, I've been doing this since 2012, talking about this and seeing ultimately what is happening. Uh, a lot of the things I talk about on this video, that might not happen 
six months down the road or a month after I do the video. It might be a lot down the road, but you know what? I can see things a lot better than a lot of people can, and I have a good opportunity to pick up books that I think are going to do something. I've given great suggestions on this channel, and a lot of you have sent me a lot of thank yous and a lot of positive comments as it relates to uh, the suggestions and my hot picks that I come out with when I haven't when I do them. I haven't done a hot pick video in a while, uh, but I'm going to start getting into that. So there was that again. Uh, once again, Sigma Comics. Here comes Calico. Uh, you know what? It's a fun book, and give us give a small company a little support. It's a good story. It's got good artwork, and it's only eight issues, so it's not gonna it's gonna run you twenty bucks to you know to support them on their full run, and maybe they put on another book and another book. Uh, you know, let's support them up there. So there's that again. Once again, Sigma Comics, thank you so much for sending me this item. So that's pretty much all we have for now. So I hope you liked the video. But as always, if you didn't, nothing I can do for you. Have a great, great day. Happy hunting, and I'll see you in a few days.